I'm joined now by Topeka Public School Superintendent Dr. Tiffany Anderson and Coordinator of Media Services Tiffany Beasley. Dr. Anderson, Tiffany, thank you both so much for joining us this Tuesday morning. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be with a T High graduate this morning. Hoy hoy, baby. <laughs> yes, hoy sir. hoy. Well, it's an exciting time here in education. April marks School Library Month. How is Topeka Public Schools celebrating? Wow, well, I'll turn it over to Miss Beasley. She is amazing. Was a librarian at Scott Dual Language, one of the best schools in town, and she is now coordinator of library services. Also, you were at Topeka High, I right? Was, yes, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Loving all the gold. Yes. Um, so I'm, we're really excited to be here. This is my favorite month of the year um, to celebrate our school librarians, and we want to take the time um, to really extend our appreciation to our school librarians who um, promote oh. our school libraries that truly function as the heart and the nucleus of our schools. Right. So here's the thing. We have a library in almost at every school. How many do we have? We have 24. 24 librarians. That's counting myself. <laughs> and I will tell you what, a lot of districts have to cut back. They have to remove librarians. Not Topeka Public Schools. We are dedicated to keeping our librarians. We know that every school having a library is critical to literacy. Mm -hmm. So the whole month we're celebrating literacy. In fact, we're celebrating the fact we have several authors in Topeka mm -hmm. Public Schools. Right. Uh, Shawnee County Library, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, um, Pico and I are talking about uh, making sure that every local author here in Topeka, our school district, but also Topeka, that we have one of their books in the library uh, to be able to be checked out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we plan to do that in the upcoming year. And we've been having conversation about other ways to just celebrate authors, uh, our libraries and schools and our partnership. Do you know every parent that registers for school automatically gets a library card. Not. Um, it's, it's something new that was started by Shawnee County Library with Topeka Public Schools and they've now expanded it. But just by coming to school, uh, you have digital access to the county library. So this month is really about literacy. In fact, we have the Roll and Read this coming up yeah. Saturday if you're looking for something to do on the weekend and parents as teachers is doing that. Um, and just a number of events. So if you're a parent in the community, we encourage you, come on mm -hmm. out, volunteer and, yes. and participate, get engaged through literacy. Exactly, that's so important. And you mentioned it there, TPS has over 20 librarians. Can I have you both kind of speak to the importance of having these specialized workers and like you mentioned, the facilities within the schools accessible for students here in our area? Absolutely, can you talk about what else uh, happens, not just library mm -hmm. books, but what else happens with yes. our media specialists? So my predecessor, um, before before she left this role, she served um, Topeka Public Schools for 45 years, and she gifted me um, a Swiss Army knife. And I, I don't think she meant anything symbolically by that, um, but I took it symbolically because school librarians truly are um, the Swiss Army knives in their buildings. Um, they contribute to almost every academic pursuit that our teachers are engaged in. Um, and without them, we really would be losing the opportunity to promote equity in our schools. We know that literacy is an equity issue, um, and without our school librarians, we really diminish our opportunity to promote that. Right. So it used to be perhaps way back in the day in 2017 mm -hmm. when you graduated and before, uh, it used to be um, books were the main mm -hmm. thing that you go to the library for. Now, uh, particularly since COVID, uh, digital uh, literacy is mm -hmm. really uh, one of the things. So they help manage our uh, school digital devices. Uh, mm -hmm. Every student gets a one-to-one -one device. Uh, it's a different time now. So the library is also on your computer. It's on your laptop. So yes. our librarians are media specialists. They handle all forms of media and technology. It is critical to invest in literacy. If a student isn't reading by third grade, uh, that is often the predictor of uh, the incarceration rates. And mm -hmm. so there is a definite correlation between students being able to read and students being able to be successful in life. Wow. Well, well, Dr. Anderson, you're keeping the Library and Schools Month energy heading into May here <laughs> with the release of your own book. What can you tell our audience about building parent capacity in high poverty schools? You know, but first of all, we have a ton of authors yes. in the district. Even our school board member, uh, Melanie Stewart Campbell is an author. So we are actually highlighting all of them. Uh, my uh, new book is coming out in May. Uh, Pre-sales are out now through Corwin Publishing and Corwin is one of the largest uh, publishers uh, nationally, internationally actually. Um, um, uh, the forward is by Topeka mm -hmm. and Doug Reeves. He's done the forward. Um, and I will tell you, uh, the first chapter really talks about parents and Brown v. Board. And, and the plaintiffs in that case, they were parents. They were beauticians and pastors and uh, just parents like anyone else in this community who made change and helped transform the nation. Wow. <laughs> and so the book is really building parent capacity uh, for and, and really having strategies for authentic engagement. There are some strategies right here in Topeka that are uplifted, a lot of resources. 
Um, and then some of that's just experience over my 20 years as superintendent. So Corwin Publishing, uh, uh, it is out at the end of May, uh, but right now pre-sales are out and uh, I thank them and, and all the folks that have helped make this book come uh, uh, to fruition. Love to see it. Congratulations yeah, on releasing you. a book here this upcoming month. And with that, Dr. Anderson, Tiffany, thank you both so much for joining us this Tuesday morning. We hope you have a wonderful school library month ahead. <laughs> yes, thank, thank you. you. Of course. And with that, we'll send it back over to Ashton for another look at your day ahead.